time as Rubio stands over the ball and he approaches. Oh, that's a beauty! What an absolute corker from Diego Rubio over the wall, past Panico, no chance. And Rubio has got goal number seven. Over the wall, he goes over the wall to that near post. Great free kick, absolutely great free kick, but I told you beforehand, if if there's no one behind the wall, they can't jump as high. Look at the wall, they barely jump so it doesn't go underneath them. Rubio bends it up and over. Wants to try to shoot it from an angle. Ariola. He'll flick it toward the back pass and it goes in! Jesus Ferreira, he has tied the club record for the most goals in a single season, and he caught Maxime Crepo out on a sharp angle free kick. The cheater with two goals in a matter of minutes. The season record for most goals by in club history. Look, we know how talented Jesus Ferreira is, but don't sleep on his cleverness either, because... Moneymaker, about 25, 26 yards from the goal. It'll come the course, but now takes the shot. Score! Kobe Jones called it, and a galaxy get one back here. Inside 68 minutes of play. Douglas Costa, his second on the year. This is exactly what we said. It's a nice little heel. And the great thing about this ball, it's not, we'll get a better look at it here, but I believe, yeah, it, it's got a bend on it, it's got movement on it. Is it going to be Don Cavallini? It's a goal! Oh, it's Casado who takes it! Oh, and Vancouver at the beginning of the first half and the end of the first half, they book into the half with goals. On that side of the wall, he's the shortest player on the field. That was going to give an opportunity for a Casado or whoever hit him to seven. do just that right there. Taylor and Velasco didn't jump. In the 44th minute. You know, giving up free kicks in dangerous areas has been a problem. Set here by Drake Calder. Free kick, FC Dallas, 27th minute of the game. Right for the delivery, towards the back post. That's how he deals with the big wall. Just shoot around it. Velasco, Golasso. FC Dallas in front, one nothing. Maybe you don't go over the wall. You just go around it if they're going to put all those tall trees in there, right? That's right. Perfect placement into the side netting. A long dive by Drake Callender, but you see in that excellent replay, no chance for Callender to reach it. Uh, such an important goal because Miami will have to come out a little bit now as the Spectre. Thing tonight. You cannot argue with that change one bit. Now Mukhtar going for Nashville's third and his second. And what a hit by Mukhtar. Direct free kick goal. And Nashville has that sense of desperation tonight. They have hit FC Dallas with a haymaker in the first half. They haven't really been blown out. A couple of two-goal losses, but even those, they didn't really feel like blowouts. But they're... Not in a good spot right now, and part of it is because that guy, Hani Mukhtar, what a free kick hit. And of course, that did happen. It's McGlynn's the shot. Go, McGlynn! say if you're good enough you're old enough well Jack McGlynn week after week he's an 18 year old but he's playing like a 28 year old and what a free kick that is
the goalkeeper Nelson, he dives. I think that's just to try and say, yes, you know what? I did attempt to get it, but you're getting no way near. And the beauty of this is when he hits this free kick, he gets it up and down so... For the Rapids, here comes Rubio, round the wall, over the wall, past the keeper, back of the net, crash, bang, wallop, the Rapids are in front. Any questions? I told her it was going. This is what he does. When he's on, he's on. He's been on a roll in this ball, he's got the wind behind him. Look at this ball, it goes up, it dips. Far back to the fake for Eric Curling in. Kim Hogan caught. And FC Dallas surprises Maxime Cropo, and it's the 10th of the year for Ferrara. Who had gone without a goal in his last five games. Just gets caught. And there's enough dip, enough pace. You can see it on Capo's face. Knows it's a huge mistake. Well done from Jesus Ferreira. But look at the spin. Look at the pace. Just hits underneath the bar. Tucks it right in. It is a terrific shot. But it's, it's the far fan move that gets Crepo moving. That is a perfect shot. And the kids are... Behind it. And he tucks it inside the far post. What a strike from Alan Velasco. And he levels the match one apiece. It's just so good from Velasco. Tamelia has to be honest, can't cheat. Go to that ear post. Velasco hits this one with enough height. Dip going down. Even Courtney Ford's trying to drop back in there. Just over his head.